हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू हिट दी सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ़ यू हैव डन इट चेट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच से दैट द जेट कार इज़ ओरिजिनली ट्रैवलिंग एट अ वेलासिटी ऑफ टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड वैन इट इज़ सब्जेक्टेड टू द एक्सलेशन शोन डिटर्मिन द कार्ज मैगजिम वेलासिटी एंड द टाइम टी डेश वैन इट स्टाप्स सो वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस टी डेश एंड वी आर गिवन द एक्सलेशन इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टाइम वी आर गिवन दिस ए टी ग्राफ सो here at when t is when t is greater than equal to 0 and less than equal to 15 seconds uh is we can see that the acceleration is constant and that acceleration is 6 meter per second square so we can write that the acceleration is 6 meter per second square so we are required to determine the car's maximum velocity so we need to find out the velocity as a function of time equation and from that we will be able to find the maximum velocity so now we know that the acceleration is dv by dt and this is equal to 6 and from this we can write that if we multiply both side of equation by dt so we will have dv equals to 6 dt and then we have to integrate this and the initial velocity is 10 meter per second so when t equals to 0 the x the velocity is 10 so this is from 10 to v and this is from 0 to t so now if we integrate this let me keep this on this side so now if we integrate this this will cancel out and we will have velocity from 10 to v and this is 6t from 0 to t and if we put these limits this will be v minus 10 equals to 6t and if we bring this minus 10 to the other side of equation so we will have v equals to 60 plus 10 so now this is velocity as a function of time for the first interval now we can find the velocity of the car at 15 seconds by putting t equals to 15 in this equation so now this is this is 6 into 15 plus 10 so 6 into 15 plus 10 gives us 100 so the velocity at 15 seconds is 100 meter per second and now as we can see that this is the equation of for of a straight line so at 15 seconds the uh velocity is 100 so now we can say that on if you want to graph if you want to draw the graph so this is that point at 15 second the velocity is 100 so we need to join uh, and the initial velocity is 10 remember so this one box represent 20 so this is 20 40 60 80 and 100 so if the initial velocity is 10 so we will have the point somewhere here this is 10 meter per second so now for 0 to 15 second it is represented by a straight line which is 60 plus 10 so we need to join this initial point with that 100 velocity and then after for the second interval when t is greater than 15 for this second interval when t is greater than 15 and less than equal to t dash and t dash is not no, not known but we are given that the acceleration is constant again and that acceleration is minus 4 so now we can write that the acceleration which is equal to dv by dt is equal to minus 4 and from this we can write that dv is minus 4 dt so we have to integrate again and now the integration will be from 15 to t and now when t equals to 15 seconds the velocity is 100 so i will i will integrate this from 100 to v so now if we integrate this this will cancel out we will have v from 100 to v and this will be the integration of the right hand side will be this will cancel out we will have minus 4t from 15 to t so now if we put these limits this will be v minus 100 equals to minus 4t and then minus minus 4 into 15 so this is minus into minus 4 into 15 this gives us 60 so this constant is 60 
so let's say that this is this is now minus 40 plus 60 and now if we bring this minus 100 to the other side of equation it will become positive as well so we will have plus 100 so the velocity will be equal to minus 40 plus 160 so now again uh, we have the straight line equation now the slope is minus 4 and the y intercept is 160 so this is minus 40 plus 160 and now the uh, since it is said that find t dash when the velocity is 0 so at t equals to t dash velocity is equal to 0 so now we need to put both both of these in this equation so the velocity is equal to 0 and t is equal to t dash so this is minus 4 t dash plus 160 and from this we can write that minus 4 t dash is minus 160 minus will cancel out and t dash is 160 divided by 4 and this is 40 second so the the jet car comes to rest in 40 seconds and the velocity at t dash this is t dash now t dash is 40 seconds so the velocity at that particular instant will become zero so for the second part uh, of the travel from 15 seconds to 40 seconds again the equation for the graph is straight line and it has a negative slope so then again we need to join this 100 with that 40 so this the equation for this line is 6t plus 10 let me write that this is 6t plus 10 and this is represented by minus 4t plus 160 this is v and similarly this is also equal to v so now from this graph we can conclude that the maximum velocity occurs at 15 seconds and that is 100 meter per second so we can write that v max is equal to 100 meter per second it occurs at t equals to 15 seconds so now this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your life